Boom. What is up? Welcome to the Blast Off Podcast. Today we have Cody Galloway. Cody, you are the man, the myth, the legend. You're really building a presence in Astro Flippin'. And I want to hear a little bit about your journey. You you own three Keegleys now, dude. That's it's crazy. Sure. Dude, it's been crazy. It's been a fun ride. <laughs> what, what was the ride like? I, I know there's like this roller coaster of real estate, and you've definitely been pretty far down it. Yeah, I mean, I'll say it's definitely a roller coaster since day one, but um, it's a fun roller coaster. I like that's the thing that I love about uh, real estate investing that um, the highs are high, the lows are low. But when you're dedicated and you have a you know a good team and systems, it's great, man. It's it really is great, but it takes a process to get to become great and always learning and stuff like that. So the journey, man insane how like it even happened to be honest yeah i mean how i started i mean probably it's i've been in real estate now for almost two years um in two like uh, about like three years ago i broke my leg in um mma competition and then um during that uh that time where i'm laying in bed rest uh i had a lot of opportunities did up? you break your leg drop kicking the guy um not like drop kicking him, but like I, I threw a low kick and he checked it perfectly. And uh, yeah, kind of like I didn't have like my leg like snap where I was like that, but like it was broke all the way through. I didn't have to have surgery, but like it was um not a good experience for sure. But like that tragic thing that happened to me, like literally birthed something that I never knew would ever happen in a million years and that is now where i am now a keegley owner three franchises like i never thought i would ever get in real estate period damn so um, you were an mma and then you broke your leg and i'm i'm sure you're thinking like oh no like what am i gonna do career, yeah. my income source everything right 100 percent. so literally uh the, my husband, he is, um, he was a brokerage for, uh, he was a VP brokerage for um, Coldwell Banker. So he mm. oversaw like four different offices and he was like always about that real estate life. And uh, during that time, he's like, yo, want to maybe get into real estate? And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to know. Not really. You know, and then he's like, well, there's, you know many different forms of real estate, you know, and I think there's a form of real estate that actually might be super attractive to you. And then he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to put you on this guy named Jamil. Um, I, my husband's been following Jamil since 2009. Whoa. Like, yes. Like people, yeah. Like from the be like beginning before blue genie, any of that. Like, so like, you have like 500 followers on Instagram. I was in like 10 different markets doing it just all wrong and it's, and i hate it. like i'm not saying like if somebody's like busting and they're in tons of markets i'm i'm not knocking you at all i'm just from my learning experience i could not be in so many markets when i didn't even understand how to be in one but and then um i found astro flipping um astro flipping is probably one of the best uh real estate educational um courses out there if you ask me um it could really break it down and um it broke it down so i could understand it a little bit and um once that happened and um as soon as like i joined astro flipping i was kind of like already all about that content all about like i was just like that's kind of that's always been instilled in me and so like i just dove in and then literally about like a week into astro flipping i got like a call from keegley because like i i reached out like months prior just about information and they just never got back to me and then um in astro flipping is when uh, they reached out to me and then like we kind of it was a roller coaster from the beginning, man. <laughs> I wanted Minnesota first. And um, at that time, they didn't have like all legality stuff in order for us to open here. So it got pushed up, pushed back a little bit, but like it got pushed back, but it was like in motion to happen type, you know? And so mm -hmm. in that period of time that I knew like, okay, we're going to open this Keegley, like I went, um, like I deleted all of my social medias and I started all new. 
I started everything. Wow. Um, I, like I clean slate in life. Like I like some people like still like will hit me up and be like, "Yo, are you mad at me?" And I'm like, "Real talk, bro." Like a couple <laughs> years ago, I just disappeared, you know, because like I was always on social media a lot, and like everybody kind of knew what I was doing, type thing. And like I'm talking like when I like saw this podcast and they're like disappear. Like you want to change your life, disappear. Don't talk to anybody. Figure out your crap. Figure out your mental health. And that's what I did. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, the natural flipping happened, or, like, the real estate happened, natural flipping happened. And all of a sudden, like, okay, now I'm in an opportunity to literally buy a, a real estate franchise company. Like, and Keegley is one of the largest, um, nation's largest home buyers, you know? Like, that's crazy to me. And so, like, with my mindset of content, like, I'm like, yo, we're going to utilize to bring this brand to a whole nother level. Um, and then through working with um, my husband, like I just understood everybody that I needed to hire on my team, you're going to be better than me in all areas. So like I can, you know, ask you the questions and how to grow and like, how can we like, let's build this business, let's build this empire together. And mm -hmm. so like just through, you know, through time, like there was a time like probably for the first three months, it was just me just trying, you know, cold calling agents, really trying to, you know, build relationships then you know do content so people could know like who's keegley north because like for the first like six months how many times like i got on like cold calls like who the f is keegley north we've never heard of you <laughs> and like in the beginning like i had no idea what to say when they're, they're like who's keegley north you know like i'm brand new at this brand new at real estate yeah. brand new like at like business like i come from like yeah. you know, we got a problem let's go on the let's go in the cage and let's swap it out or something yeah. <laughs> so it's like Oh my God, like what the heck? And so like really just Joe helped a lot taking the time to like, yo, dude, like this is an emo emotionless career. Like if if we got upset but or took got butt hurt by every little conversation that we've had, we're, we're, we stay mad. So yeah. You know, he's like, start looking at it a different way. And then at the same time, you know, he's like, just because Keegley is a huge franchise doesn't mean, you know, maybe people here in Minnesota know. And then, like, I took that to heart where I'm like, I'm going to focus on this content and really come up with good sayings where people would understand what Keegley is and what Keegley North is and how we are here to bridge a gap between agents and investors. And, um, just went to town on that and then about like five months into the business i hired um josh and tim and now tim is the director of dispositions and josh is the director of acquisitions and they're insane like they're literally insane T tim is like heaven sent bro he is the best dispo manager ever like he understands about the relationships and he really tries, you know, gets the criteria and like, he had, like talk time with his buyers are, you know, three, four hours because like they're really getting into the nitty gritty and trying to figure out how we can really add value. And then we got Josh. Josh was on like, you know, J Josh actually, I mean, he'll be okay with me saying this. Josh was a roller coaster man in the beginning. He just wanted to grind, 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 grind. He like, he thought, you know, quantity over quality and like, it was a roller coaster effect and then josh finally hit this stage where he was building this rapport with these agents and everything changed and like now josh is one of the biggest sharks in acquisition wholesales if you ask me and um and then like we just kept on working and then um we kept on building the team and we just made sure like we hit our our numbers you know, our kpis to produce deals and then we just focused on branding and we just never stopped and then like literally Within like, I guess like seven months of like owning Keegley North here in Minnesota, then I opened up one in Dallas, Texas and like it was chaotic. We went down there through a huge event and it was like, honestly, the coolest event ever. I'm not going to lie. Through the best events. Dude, like I'm going to, I want to hold the throne for that, man. I, I, I really try because like, I want it to be such a cool experience. And like, when like you go, like, you're like, holy fuck. And like we're in houses, like to me, like I get these crazy houses because like I'm manifesting, like someday that's gonna be my crib, and like my kids are gonna be here, and it's gonna be great. And um, so like I wanna, you know, I wanna throw events in my future homes.